This is April O'Neill, live at Steel City Comic Con. Um, excuse me. Uh, I. This is April O'Neill, live at Steel City Comic Con. I know. Well, she's got the suit. I, mean, I don't have the suit. But you, know you did never get to wear the suit. You got the raincoat. I'm sorry. Say that again. You didn't get to wear the suit, but you got the raincoat. I know because. That was cool. Well, because they never made me a proper jumpsuit, and the one that I had was so bad, it got cut out of the movie. Oh, I wish I could have seen that. I did not know that. That's a fun it's fact. true. And I'm going to tell you something about it when this cuts that will make you laugh. Oh, I can't wait to hear that. Well, I do have a couple questions for okay. you. But first, I want to mention, you have the first panel of the morning, tomorrow, Saturday, at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Come and ask her some questions. I promise I'll be there. Even though I'll probably be asleep. If I could come in sweatpants, I would, but I won't. So you're in a couple of classic movies, obviously. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Halloween Town. Yes. So what was it like working acting with turtles? Um, it was really exciting and fun. And it was also really difficult because it was brand new technology. So the turtles, we used to have something called MTV, which is Major Turtle Breakdown. Uh, and it happened a lot, and uh, so there were many times where normally you'd have a turtle and you'd be reacting because the turtle just did something, and instead it was a paper plate attached to a C stand, and you just had to really use your message. But when they were there, it was tremendously fun, and the actors who played the turtles were always somewhere close by trying to help me out. They were, they were giving me a solid. Well, I mean, your acting is so great in that movie, but just knowing that you had to act with paper plates sometimes, and yes, that's, that's many tough. times. That is very difficult. <laughs> well, there are two things. I had to do that, and then uh, there's something called automated dialogue recording. So it's looping. So the, the movie was so, there were so many sounds. We had crickets on the sound stage. Um, there was so much noise in the turtle heads. So I had to loop 90% of the movie, which I had never looped before. And I had to do it. They flew me from New York to Los Angeles, and I had to do the whole thing in eight hours. Oh, wow. So I think when I went and watched the movie for the first time, I was like, I don't think it helped my performance, but I've learned to live with it. <laughs> so you're also in Halloween Town, which is a yes. classic. Now, why would you not want to live in Halloween Town? It was the coolest place. I know, but think about it. Like, kids rebel against their parents, and you don't want to necessarily be your parents. I, I think one of the things I love about the movie is that all the characters took a journey, but Gwen really took a journey from being like, not cool about the whole thing to cooler about the whole thing and then very cool you know towards the end you were just so. being a good mom that's i did everything for love i swear i did it all for love i did i, I did that's how i roll so a couple more questions so i don't know if you've seen any of the, the horror icons that are here there's Freddie and jason and michael yeah out of those three who would be the scariest to meet in this Okay, so I'm going to do a true confession. Oh. I don't do horror because I am a scary cat. And so I just saw Halloween for the first time. My friend made me watch it last year. And the only way I could cope watching it was I had to yell at the movie. I had to yell at the TV screen. Um, so I haven't... That's the only one of those movies that I've seen. But you were in one. You I were in know. the new nightmare. I, I know. I didn't uncredited. I uncredited. But you were in it as a doctor. And I've never seen it. You were great in it. I, I, I saw it's it and I was painful. like, I know her. That's that's yes. you did. That's April. That was a that was a, a favor. Um, I had done a movie with Michael Bay called Armageddon. So when they offered me this part, I said, and it was so tiny, and it was like a favor. So I said, I don't even need a credit. And then um, people found me anyway. But it was weird because I did a series with Connie Britton afterwards called Nashville. And when I did actually see that one scene, it was so strange to see myself in a scene with Connie where we weren't so oh, is there anything you're working on now? Any upcoming projects? I have, I have a movie that's out now called Finding You. And it's with Vanessa Redgrave and Patrick Bergen. And then I have another movie coming out 
I, you know, at this point, we don't know because of COVID. So I do yeah. believe it'll be out by the end of the year. It's called Roll With It, Baby. And I have a couple projects in development because, yeah, it's fun. Um, because I am, uh, in addition to being an actress, I'm moving into producing. So I'm, I've got stuff. And it's all in development now. So. Well, last but not least, the most important question of the night. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um... I am a full-on vegetable girl. I, will, I like mushrooms. I like olives. I will do a Hawaiian pizza if pressed. Um, and I tend to like veggies on my pizza. Believe it or not, mushrooms and olives have been one of the most common answers. Really? Yes. Because like, it's so good. It really is. What's your favorite? Well, sausage, onions, black olives, mushrooms, I would a little bit of garlic. I would eat your pizza again. I would totally eat your pizza. No anchovies, no jelly, none of those no, crazy no turtle pizzas. What about penicillin? No. No penicillin. No. I don't know about the turtles taste in pizza, but yeah. I like your taste in pizza. Thank you. We can have pizza together. Oh, I'll take you up on that. <laughs> hey, so I'll see you in the morning? See you in the morning, 11 a.m. Come see Judith Hoag's panel at Steel City Con. It's going to be a great time. Thank you so much. No bugadoo! Hey. <laughs>